Hey everybody, it's John from the Game Duo here. Today is a special day nonetheless as we are continuing Pokemon Platinum. I'm a little quiet today. Well, I mean, I'm just, I like how I'm saying I'm a little quiet. Not really that quiet right now. Let's. I gotta tone down a little bit because people are gonna start sleeping too. So much for toning down. Okay. People are about to start sleeping and I don't want to disrupt their schedules, you know. That's never fun when your schedule gets disrupted. So, we're in Sunny Shore, and I honestly can't remember what happened last episode, other than that we beat Volkner, and that's a big deal. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not lying. Oh, wait, you're- it's Jasmine! John, hey, what the? You went and got all eight badges of the Sinnoh region? Oh, that's awesome! But, don't think you've won, because I'm gonna be the toughest trainer ever! Watch me! I was dreaming to be just like my dad, now things are different! Now, I thought about being a trainer, what being a trainer involves, and oh my god, that is so hard, you have to deal, like, and hang out with a front, in front of 156,000 people, like, ah, I thought about what Pokemon are, we're gonna get tougher one step at a time, I'm not gonna challenge you to a battle now, I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me, but a whole lot, but not a whole lot tougher, just a little, our differences are about a yard, that's kind of a, that's a long way, actually. It's the... Ah, nah, not even an inch. What I was trying to say is, well, I'll catch up to you in no time. But you don't hurry to the Pokemon... If you don't hurry to the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. Fine. Isn't that Jasmine? Yeah. What? Was that your friend? Seeing how you two got along made me happy somehow. It felt just wonderful having a friend like that person that you can share anything and everything with a person that you can complete with compete without fighting um it made me feel sort of warm seeing you two it may be odd but i'd like you to have this as my thanks it isn't much but hm07 which is another dumb hm yeah contains waterfall yeah definitely something that would come from the steel type gym leader y'all yeah. Yeah, that definitely would come from the Steel-type gym leader, you know, like... Route 223! Oh! This is an encounter! I wasn't paying attention, okay. <laughs> the true spark is here! X V Sparks! If you have not checked out his channel already, I suggest highly that you do so. Because, let's be real, this is the true spark. I literally, in my head earlier, was like... Um, I feel like something fire is going to come out of Route 223. I was not wrong, apparently, because the true Sparks is here. Guys, I am hyped. Okay. Charge Beam. That could actually be scary, though, honestly. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was like, this could actually be scary. Yeah, it kind of is. That's okay though. We can handle. Ooh. Uh oh. That's special defense, Rose. Yeah. Well, it's plus one special defense. Oh, I don't want to kill it though. Okay, so we are back. We are handling all of our shenanigans right now. Uh, we just caught Sparks. Um, I'm in a completely different outfit. Because, you know, why not be in a completely different outfit? Like, it's like a completely different day. So, I did have to stop the recording for last episode. Um, because I was told to. And I have to listen to that. Um... I'm determined, whatever. You're determined to go to the Pokemon League. I got it. Like, I'm going to actually make it to the Pokemon League. So, in all reality, jeez, I need to turn down this audio for me. I was at a call last night, right? Um, and we were having fun in this call, right? Because, as you guys know, as hopefully you guys know, um, <laughs> this is a completely separate day. So, we didn't break 300 before this. But we did it now, and we'll have another video where I actually talk about breaking 300 and stuff like that, because that's a crazy thing to think about. 
that we're over 300 um so i appreciate you guys but i was in a call with some of the guys that um actually well i think was everybody did everybody actually get into that call at least at some point i think everybody in the group got into that call at least at some point um or at least i was there to talk to everybody because i talked to gen 2 we talked to i think gen 2 was in the call for a little bit yeah um karai was in the call uh cypher was in the call um uh, basically the group i just i'll go with that so, uh x sparks i was in like two live streams yesterday because we were just chilling having fun live streaming on each other's channels because it's awesome so anyway the group ooh needle queen okay so we were talking and we were just we were just having fun that's so <laughs> we were just having fun talking to like three in the morning and so my my brain's like what are you doing you're not used to this you should probably go to bed but i'm like but i want to hang out and have fun and so that's what i did uh what am i gonna who am i going into i feel like it's okay this needle queen is level 49 it should die um but no we're trying to figure out like collab days and stuff like that and uh somebody else in the group actually also celebrates uh a 200 his 200 subscription uh, 200 subscription as well, so yes, that's awesome. And, and so, yeah, King Culpa just celebrated 200. Let's see if we can get him to 250 anytime soon. Uh, Sparks is doing a sleep block on the 21st. Like, we're trying to, like, we're trying to plan each other's things. Or not, we're not planning each other's things, but we're trying to plan around each other's things because we don't want it to be the same. Because one thing that we definitely don't want is something like, oh, Garchomp, get this thing out. Um, we don't want something like um, where Luke and uh, Christian are doing a soul link, and same with um, Nick and Nexus. Um, we don't want to like cross over and do the same thing. I totally thought it was going to stop there, and that would have freaked me out. So we don't want to cross over and do the same like thing at the same time because we don't want to steal each other's stuff so which i dig i 100 percent respect so we're kind of talking about what we have planned for like the future and like everything else and you know we were celebrating our successes because like i said two people um me and culpa celebrated a new a new number in front of our um youtube channel which is always an awesome thing to experience. Do 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 do. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I don't need to stay in. I this is a this is a rival. This is not a this is not a rival. That's a um just a random battle. Okay. Anyway, so we were experiencing that. We were talking about it, and it was it just was a good thing to talk about. Um, and I, I really respect the fact that we were just talking about what we were doing. And then, um, I was doing my first ever collab video in the group. Um that didn't it was it didn't turn out like at all because we forgot okay my I, again we all forgot about the record button <laughs> so we did this video and we were not recording it at all we <laughs> we recorded our face cam for the entire thing but we completely forgot to record the actual video and it was kind of funny because that's how you could tell we were all tired as all could be but we wanted to do something and it just was it was great to just be like to do that Ooh, sucker punch um so no it was fun maybe maybe we'll record that video again at some point um but yeah so it was just yeah <laughs> it's definitely something i would do are we like whoa oh 58 i was like what level i'm like are we 56 uh-oh what's going out i'm not paying attention i'm sitting here talking i'm really hoping i'm not like completely wrong i thought it started with an s was it shell? I th oh wait, no, it wouldn't be shell there. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely not what I thought about. Definitely not what. <laughs> and I thought it started with an S. Agron. There's literally no S in there. Uh, okay, so Rock Throw is doing absolutely nothing. We're gonna bone bring this thing to death. But no, so it's fun. It's fun to be a part of a group, right? It honestly, it feels more right than when I was doing it before. So that's a cool thing. Like, 
it feels natural. And I'll and I'll include them in some of our streams too. Like, don't get me wrong, they're gonna. But there's like, an, to me, there's streams where having them are, is gonna be an awesome thing, and then there's streams where, um, like the, it's like the appropriateness, like. But there, there be, they will be streams where it's more appropriate to do it by myself, and then there'll be streams when it's more appropriate to do it otherwise. Anyway, this well or dead. I gotta stop recording. <laughs> be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I hit the we're streaming button. What? Which we're gonna do in about an hour. So hold on, you guys. Uh, well, not even an hour. We gotta finish this episode. I don't even know how long it's been, but long story short, we're getting through this. So we are gonna go probably probably. Wait, what? <laughs> okay! Randomly Yuxi in here. I didn't need that scare. That was like, I was like, wait, what's happening? Oh my gosh, something's happening! And it's just the Yuxi. Uh, that's a way to start a recording session because, I mean, it's not really a full session, but <laughs> that is a way to start it. Um, okay, anyway, we gotta go to our bag. We gotta get some of our potions. We have 21. We have a lot of potions, actually. I did not know that we had that much. I also didn't know that all of our Pokemon are holding some form of... I oh, yeah, that's right. I did that towards the end because I was like, you know, might as well. <sighs> it's a double battle. But I cannot... I can make it not a double battle. <laughs> I know for the sleep, like, the thing that I'm trying to do... Yes, okay, fine. We're doing something. For 300 i'm gonna literally reveal stuff on complete accident but it's okay i know that if i'm trying to speed run a game there we go if i'm gonna try and speed run a game i should not be like let's not face this in a double battle <laughs> but you know what it's like it's fine you know i'd rather be safe than sorry i don't want to lose any more mods actually i kind of do but i also don't <laughs> Because one of my excess rules is really kind of hindering me. Because I really want to use the right or the, we have a right to. I really want to use the Raikou that I have. I want to use like these awesome Pokemon that I have, but I can't use them until my Pokemon are dead. Milotic, oh, get that out of here! Yeah, that thing's dead. That thing is straight dead. You have n way lower uh, physical defense, so. Have a nice night, Milotic. Okay, Milotic is gone. Bam. And I think today's episode, we're just going to get to Victory Road, and then we're going to get through Victory Road. Hypno. No, 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 no. Hypno is fine. Like, we can we can crunch that thing to oblivion. I don't even think we have crunch. I think we have bite. Yeah, we have bite. But bite will still do more, because 60 times 2 is greater than 75 times 1.5. And I got to remember that. Oh, oh, you tried to endure it twice. It just it doesn't work like that way. It just it just doesn't. So I'm sorry that you tried to do that, but that's not my fault that you wanted to do that. I mean, if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and do that. But that's just not my it's not my fault that the AI decided to do that. People like okay, a lot of people like to blame like everybody on this like on a simple topic. It's just like it's like it's like it's their fault, but then they'll blame you for it. It's weird. I don't understand people like why why would you even take the time to be like this was this person's fault like unless it clearly was and they're not admitting it then obviously i can see why but other than that it's just like why like just do what people like ask and things are not gonna be as crazy if you actually like listen and do what people asked for in the first place Air slash this girl out of here. Bam. It's dead. Roserade faints and Cheryl gets a thousand experience. Swampert is next. We're going to just swap straight into Cherim. Cherim is going to just handle this flawlessly. And as Cherim is going to handle this flawlessly because it's a Swampert, I don't even know. It's level 51. Like, I, I feel like we're so... We should be so much higher in terms of, like, the p people's levels. But that's also because I was with Sparks, and, like, I was looking at the Elite Four, and I'm like, geez, these Elite Four is actually really difficult. Instead of in this game, where they really aren't as difficult. But that's okay. Swampert gets to kill Bulbas. And Arceus 
Um, Cheryl, you should be able to handle an Arceus just fine. I don't see any problems with that. And... Yeah, so Arceus, hopefully we can handle that. Like I said, I think we can. But we just gotta be on the safer side of things and think that we can't. But we're, it's, we're, it's probably gonna be a 3 KO. Like, I don't doubt that. Oh my gosh, it's a 4... It's a 4 hit KO. Oh no. Okay. Metronome, just get explosion, please. Just that's all I'm asking. Just get explosion. Can't touch me. And we'll be we'll be all happy. Vital throw. Hey, that still doesn't affect me. That's a that's a free turn. I'm okay when I get free turns. Like, I'm not gonna give the AI a free turn. <laughs> I'm okay when I get free turns. Yes. And then the Sarcius protects, so you lose that turn anyway. <laughs> of course. Okay, can we just kill this, please? Spark! Hope that shouldn't kill. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. Okay. Fine. Be that way. You gave me 3,000 experience anyway, roughly, so... You have you have the the permission to be that way. Of course you would... That... I, you would live on, like, barely one. On top of living on barely one... I can't speed up this. On top of living on barely one... Oh, yeah, because I'm out of her eyes, heels. What? Ah. Could pose a problem. I really can. It really can pose the issue. Rai, who this one's level thirty six. I'm glad we caught a level fifty one. My golly. I have to train up the entire entire squad at level sixty six. By the end of this, like once I get out of Victory Road, the entire squad's gonna be level sixty, like sixty six or sixty five. I might. I'm gonna. I think I want settle with sixty five. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna. I should just settle at 65. Oh, that's a Steelix. Um, I, honestly, I almost do want to settle at 65. Like, because we're gonna gain levels in the Elite Four. Might as well make it more of a challenge. Doom Desire. That doesn't affect me because you're gonna get one shot like all the other Steelix in the backyard. Just getting one shot. And even then, I can still dive and avoid the thing. But, just like every Steelix, they just get one shot. Like, like it's nobody's business, so. Dan's level 59, and Shelly's getting closer to 59, so that's good. Um, let's see, let's continue on our way up. Get this, and then we can go just straight up, and that should end the episode, to my knowledge. Like, if I remember Route 213 enough, I think that ends the episode. Probable Pass! Also, I should teach Waterfall to, um... Shelly. Shelly could... Shelly would really benefit from Waterfall, honestly. I feel like... I do. Like, because Dive is going to do nothing. Like, Waterfall does the same amount in one turn. I know that gives Shelly another TM. Or HM. But this game is literally filled to the brim with HMs, so... You really think about it, it's not really that big of an issue, but that's okay. Clay doll is next. We're gonna just gonna stay in as a clay doll. Like, what's the what's the point of not staying in on a clay doll? Like, honestly, like if you can tell me a point of not staying in. Oh look, future sight. It's literally gonna die in one shot again, so it doesn't even matter. Um. Anyway, clay doll. Faints. We got twenty sixty five. And we defeated Chief Robin. And now we just go up here. We got the Expert Belt, which actually is going to be a very helpful item. And... Honestly, though, I like that. That's gonna, that is going to be a very helpful item. Uh, Florentino sends out a Dialga, which... Of course he does. He can't send out anything other than a Dialga. Like, literally a, a Mon that is... 
like one of the scariest for us to face he sends out because of course Florentino has a Dialga. Watch, Dialga Palkia Garatina. That would be the great... Um... Okay. Why? Oh my gosh, you got a crit! You've got to be kidding me! You crit me! Are you kidding me?! You had to crit me! You literally... I have absolutely no words. A crit roar of time would have killed every one of my Pokemon. It would have. Point blank, a crit roar of time kills every one on my team. I went into Shelly because I know that Shelly would have stomached a regular roar of time. It would not have been the healthiest thing for her to stomach. But she would have been able to stomach it, hit it with a boomerang. I had a plan. And now our waterfall Pokemon is dead. And is I honestly do not know what to do in this scenario. I'm not gonna lie. I have absolutely zero clue what I'm about to do. We're just kind of in a hope to survive mode at this point. Ice Beam is neutral. That's... That's resisted. Honestly, I think it's Cheryl. It's kind of up to Cheryl at this point. Right? Oh no, that's ultimate. In Gen, Gen 4, that's not how it works. Ah! Come on, Air Slash. I need you to do at least a decent amount, a decent chunk of damage. We're faster, right? Okay. We just need to hope for some flinches. Hey, we got a crit. Not very effective. Disable. Okay. Now we can avoid the roar of time with a fly. Okay, we got through the Dialga. Like, it's dead now, right? No, it's not. We live the roar of time. As long as you don't double crit me, we're fine. Okay, I was gonna say, I for for a second thought we had just got double critted. For a, the slightest of a second, I totally thought we were double critted. You lived on one, but it's one hundred percent accurate. It doesn't matter. Okay, Cheryl gains ten eighty three, and Dan also gains ten eighty three. Zatu is the next mon, so we might as well stay in. Much better Mon for us to take care of. And... We're gonna Max Potion because we have to. We have to buy... That's the one thing about our team. We literally have to buy Max Potions to handle our team. I, is, I feel like there's a Pokemon Center right before the Elite Four, isn't there? There has to be. I'm not wrong, right? Of course you have Toxic. You can't... You really can't... You really can't have any other move. You really could not have selected any other move before I one-shotted you. No. No. It couldn't. It couldn't select any other move before it got one-shotted. Oh, no. It left on one as well. Both of her... Two out of two ones lived on just on one. Two of two. That takes some skill. That takes some skill. Living on one, not once, twice. Are you going to do it three times? I hope not. Um, I really hope not. Beedrill. Okay. Beedrill, just because I don't want 
Beedrill to completely destroy the, the toxic -ing, or being being because of me being toxic. I'm gonna go ahead and just steal wing this out and take the squad of resisted moves like there's no tomorrow. So because realistically there's only two days left of this series. I think the finale is on Friday. Or Saturday, excuse me. I mean, who knows, though. This is the third trade. This is this trainer's third Pokemon that lived on one. Oh, my gosh. Um... What just happened? Okay, we're back. We're back at it again. Oh, my light needs to turn on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back at it again. Actually, that didn't make a big difference because it's not as close to me as it usually is. Um, but yeah, we're we're back at it. We're back doing our things. Um, we lost them on, but we healed up off screen because there's no reason not to. Um, but we, I think we're almost at the point because I was literally gonna leave you off at a like weird spot. But then, this is literally the next day. This video is literally taken three days to record because of all the shenanigans that have happened in this in today's episode. Um, but anyway, no, I was literally gonna leave you guys off and just like get it all in there and just go. And then I was like, I did not do a proper outro. Uh, uh really? Why? We lost. Okay, I remember we lost Shelly, which is painful. Um, like hecka painful to think about that we lost Shelly. Like, ouch. Big oof in that department. But, um, I honestly think that that's a, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what's in our box. I just know we have, like, our box has a, l enough room for two mons because, or two, uh, things. So, he's missed Mega Punch twice. I feel bad for the Pseudo Wudo, but, I mean, I also don't feel bad because it's a Pseudo Wudo. It was gonna die anyway. Mega Punch was not gonna do that much damage, and instead I would have just get good range. But Bulbas is level 57, as we are just gonna cruise through, beat on, beat Chief Daniel, and uh, ooh another trainer. Ooh the Toxic Orb. We don't have anything with it. We don't have a Breloom though, so it's not it's not as it's not as fun because we don't have a Breloom. But we have to get to a point where there's a waterfall or something that I remember. I'm like I remember scaling a waterfall. To get up to victory road slacking Ooh, luckily this thing has truant and it's not random abilities but it's still scary nonetheless because this thing could actually just do a lot of damage hopefully it doesn't though thunder punch Ooh, karate chop okay that's not stab that's not stab that should not kill yeah i was gonna say non stab shouldn't kill the truant turn will go in effect and we got we got the slacking the slacking's down right like 100 percent. there's no way it's not yeah, there's no way it's not. Slacking, get that out of here. That thing's gone. Okay. Dan's almost level 60. Jeez. Um, and Golem is next, which we're 100% just swapping to Bulbas for. I don't see a reason not to. Because Golem gets one shot. Very easily. Oh, wow. Especially a level 48 one. <laughs> I mean, it's got sturdy, so it's gonna live on one. But... Like, there's no way it doesn't have Sturdy. Oh, wait. What? Okay, apparently it does not have Sturdy. <laughs> I just was not expecting that at all. Um, I was totally expecting it to have Sturdy and just us to have to deal with it. But I'm okay with that not being the case. Let's see. We got away safely. We have this trainer right here that we're going to fight. And we're, we're, like I said, our whole entire team is going to be level 60 something probably by the end of. We have to get to level 66 by the Elite Four. Which, that kind of asking a lot, in, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, okay, so Dan, I'm sorry, but it's a grass type. <coughs> Bless me. I'd rather have. Cheryl will come in and this, get this experience. Because 
Cheryl's level 57, you're 59, so... 200 and... Like, Cheryl's gonna have the craziest amount of HP. I think Cheryl's gonna actually have 300 HP before getting to the Elite Four. Uh, I honestly do. I honestly believe Cheryl is gonna have close to 300 HP before going to the Elite Four. Hey, we made it. Now you have to teach Waterfall to somebody. Oh no! We can't teach Waterfall to Cheryl! Oh no. What if nobody on our team. Okay. Somebody on our team better know how to learn. Please, somebody on our team better. Oh my gosh. Cheryl, you are a lifesaver. I mean, I'm not going to click Night Slash very often. And I'm just going to have to go in. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to suck it up, honestly. It's the only one that can learn it. I mean, I click Night Slash but not not often enough to freak about losing it, so we have made it. And, actually, that's an encounter spot, too. But, we will save that for the next episode. We gotta decide who, in their right mind, is going to be on the team. Because, I don't know about you, but we just have to. So, the Pokemon that we did indeed lose is Cheryl, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we did lose Cheryl for the 13th death in the Nuzlocke. Now we have to figure out who to use. So, oh, we got a black. I know I should probably say this for the next episode, but oh, Absol. I I don't I don't mind that at all. I will take an Absol. I'm gonna bite it because I don't think an Absol will die to a bite, and if it does. Then we didn't deserve it anyways. Payback! Ooh, yikes. Okay, that, that's going to be double the base power, but shouldn't do as much, right? Oh, that's a crit. That wasn't a crit. Oh, boy. Absol is strong! Didn't think Absol was that strong. Okay, paralyzed, though. That's perfect. As long as we do not crit, we're good. Pound. Oh, that does nothing. As long as we do not crit this bite, we're fine. We caught the Absol as long as we don't crit it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it very easily. Okay, so let's go ahead and just dust wall this thing. Do we have anything better than dust walls? Dude, I don't know if we have anything better than Dust Balls. We don't. Dust Balls are literally our best. Ow, why is Payback doing so much? I'm not even hitting you. I know I'm a riot shoot and oh, all. Okay, might as well go to Murr. Because Murr can handle the the pressures, I guess. There. I was like, why am I getting hurt so badly? Okay, well, we have Absol. That we're going to nickname. Kar Karai sounds like a good Absol name. We haven't named anything Karai yet. So, Cry the Absol. Although, I just named a female after Cry. Whatever. Genders don't matter. Actually, they kind of do. But, that's okay. So, anyway, in the next episode, we'll have a Milotic, so that'll be nice. And we'll kind of have to deal with whatever we need to deal with. Thank you guys, everybody, so very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!